Hello and welcome to episode 28 of Gunning For It and the last episode of this series. My name is Craig and coming up today is two, two cup finals. The first one being the FA Cup final and the second one, the last match of the series, the Champions League final. It still brings a smile to our face that we're going to be doing that. Well, first up we have Liverpool in the FA Cup and since you were last with me, uh, we managed to finish strong in the Premier League. We finished fourth, so we're in the Champions League for next season. Not that we're going to be doing next season anyway. And I may as well give you what would effectively have been, effectively have been a spoiler, but we did win a trophy earlier this season. We won the Carabao Cup final. Uh, we beat Everton 1 0. I was going to show this as a video of sort of bonus. Uh, after this video, but because FM21 beta is coming out very very soon I'm not sure I'll have the chance to release this video So just putting it out there now we did win the Cowbell Cup So we've got a trophy this season. We have the potential to add two more so For the FA Cup final against Liverpool I'm not wearing the suit by the way because they're buried away somewhere in my wardrobe and I'm not fetching them out Just for this I don't exactly have the time anyway but his team we're going to send out. Why is Leno in goal? There we go. So it's Strakosha in goal. Tini, Soyunku, Saliba, and Hakimi as our back four. Tonali and Guendouzi in the midfield. Martinelli on the left wing. Pepe on the right wing. Reina in attacking midfield, playing behind Timo Werner, who finished as the top scorer in the Premier League. And that is because Reina's playing because Ozil is out for up to the next two weeks. So he's missing the Champions League final and Reina is unregistered for the Champions League final but we shall see how it goes uh, we are playing Liverpool who are strong <laughs> um, we're gonna go with the underdog story hmm. Hmm. was that the right move? I don't know We've been doing that a few times this season, especially in the Champions League, and it seemed to work. But this is a team that we have beaten in the FA Cup final before. You might remember two seasons ago, we played Liverpool in the Cup final, and we beat them 1-0, one, one and that wasn't a very good uh, way to lose possession. Oh, for crying out loud. Whew. Close. Defence at sixes and sevens there, and that wasn't what we needed. <sighs> okay, <laughs> just picking the wrong shouts at the moment, it's not good. Tierney wins the ball back there. It balances out in the end somewhere. Tierney, make the pass over to Hakimi on the right hand side. Pepe, he just dances his way through. No, he can't. Hakimi picks the ball up though. Can you put the ball in? Yes, he can. Reina's there. Guendouzi. Ooh, close. They have gone in from that position before. Liverpool in the attack again. We're coming up on half an hour. And that is, yeah, as soon as that. Uh, Awa? Awa? Uh, I don't know. You still don't know how you pronounce that name. As soon as he got into that position, it was always going to be difficult. <sighs> Um, oh, we do have work ball into box off. I mean, we had enough players in that box to deal with that. Demand a bit more. I don't know how much. Oh, for goodness sake. Clear that off the line, man. <sighs> this is our third successive FA Cup final. And at the moment, we're set to lose two of them. Okay, they're uninterested. If we can sneak a goal back before half time, they'll give us a chance. We were playing against a team who have effectively won double the season. They've won the Premier League and uh, the Super Cup. I might not play Tierney in the final of the Champions League if he keeps losing confidence Tonali 
Would someone like to grab that? Yep, Gwen Doozy. It's like we can't even get the ball down at the moment. It's really frustrating. Pepe, well done. Play it into Werner. Play it into Reyna. Oh, why did you scoop that over, man? We're still attacking. I mean, we have to go attacking, to be honest, at this point. Right, half an hour to go. Who have we got? We have Aubameyang. Put him out on the left wing. See if that helps us out a little bit. Pepe with the ball takes it forward. <sighs> as good as our team is, unfortunately, Liverpool is just that little bit better of a little bit. They're, they're quite a lot better, to be honest with you. Tonali over to Pepe. And that's up for a corner. I was going to say, we have been known to score from corners, but uh, not this time. Mind me, Saliba, that's his 11th yellow card of the season. Alexander Arnold just picked up an injury for them. Uh, who have we got? Let's try Bellingham. I mean, why not? Bellingham is going to come on for the final 15 minutes. Let's just see what he has and Saka will come on on the right wing I mean effectively we've lost this anyway but it would have been nice to put up a bit more of a fight to be honest or Bamiang just about keeps hold of the ball there Tenali, Reyna, if we can build no, <laughs> no, that didn't happen. Liverpool's defence just holding firm at the moment. What is... Oh my god, 3-0, what is wrong with you guys? No, this just wasn't it. Absolute pasting in the final, come on. To go down like that is disgusting. I don't want to see your celebrations. That's disgusting though. I hope we do better in the Champions League final. Because to go down like that is stupid. I mean 1-0, 2-0, okay, understandable. One more game left. It is the Champions League final. We'll be back for that. We need to do some major thinking for that one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final game of the series and it just so happens to be the biggest game of them all the Champions League final the team that we're sending out Strakosha and goal I've meant to change team actually Kolasinac, Soyunku, Saliba and Hakimi as our back four Tonali and Guendouzi in the midfield Martinelli on the left wing Pepe on the right wing Bellingham in attacking midfield because Reyna is unregistered and Meza Ozo is still injured so he completely misses out and Timo Werner up front our opponents are AC Milan around about the same level in Serie A that we are in the Premier League and I can feel the nerves you know what let's do this for the fans Let's do this for them. Let's do this for us. Let's do it for this series because we did aim to bring European or domestic and domestic glory back to the club. Domestic glories kind of evaded us apart from two uh, domestic trophies. Can we bring back European success? Ooh, that was very, very close. Thankfully, Strakosha was equal to that. <sighs> and here come AC Milan again. Oh no, we did not want to start like that. The ball was cleared, but we just can't seem to get the ball down quick enough. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. 
Come on guys, this is the final of the Champions League. Show a bit more passion. Stokosha equal to that free kick. Come on boys. Let's start fashioning out some chances. <clears throat> Guendouzi just wasn't equal to that. I would have wanted to bring Pepe to bring that forward. Hopefully he can here because he's just got the ball back. Werner's waiting in the middle. Oh, just play Werner in. There is relative inexperience if you think about it in this team as well. There's quite a few young players in there. Of course, Hakimi, uh, Martinelli, uh, Bellingham. Bellingham's playing in an unfamiliar position. I think he's played second midfield maybe, what, twice? Uh, and that was a tame shot by Werner. He's the only one forward. Where's everyone else? Uh, let's get some crosses whipped in. Play some shorter passing. Let's see if that works. AC Milan looking relatively comfortable at the moment. Thankfully no one's forward there for them. Yeah, as I say, just just play it out. Let's see if we can build up some passes. Oh my god, what is going on with this team? It says that they're inspired, but they're just not playing very well, are they? AC Milan just forcing us back. Thankfully, Pepe picks up the ball. Can he whip the cross in? Yes, he can. Martinelli couldn't keep his header down. Come on, lads. We need more creativity. We need to be playing this ball forward more. And can we? And Soyon Koo has equalised! Yes, it counts. I was scared there for a moment, it was offside. <laughs> and that's our first goal in a cup final in this episode, anyway. Lovely free kick in from Pepe. And a beautiful header by Sunku. We didn't see the replay. I was a bit too anxious. Click skip. A bit too quickly. And Bellingham intercepts there. Brilliant stuff. He's had a. Um, He's had a very good season so far as Bellingham. And oh, just slots Werner in. Goodness, man. That's twice that could have happened now. Yeah. We started the first half poorly, but we came into the game uh, more and more as the, as the first half wore on. It's now a question of looking at our conditioning and our bench, see who we can bring on. Thankfully the bench has expanded for the final. I didn't realise you could have 12 subs. In fact, oh, we won the ball back nicely there, Hakimi. Oh, for God's sake! What is going on? Oh my God, what is going on with the... Mistakes! That's two mistakes that have led to two goals. And it's cost us dearly. I'm utterly horrified. Where is Bellerin? I just don't understand this. Get Aubameyang on. Get Bellerin on. I don't understand. What is with the mistakes? This hasn't happened for the majority of the season. We've been quite solid. I'm getting absolutely sick of this. Uh, just bottles it in the finals. I can understand against Liverpool, but with the equal of AC Milan. Go on, Werner. Go on. Finish this. Oh my. The one on ones in this game are just so broken, and that is a general complaint of anyone who has played this game. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you do? Eh? What can you do? Okay, just over 10 minutes left, who can we bring on? 
I mean, Bellingham is giving the game of his life today. Uh, Torreira. He can play as a Mazzala, effectively. Oh my gosh. Come on, lads. Any last effort? The best really we can hope for at the moment is taking this to extra time. Denali. Kolashinak. And into Vanna! Yes! 2 2. Timo Vanna with his 34th of the season. £43 million pounds well spent. <sighs> Lovely crossing from Kolashinak. Repaying the faith I've shown in him. To bring him into the side ahead of who was it? You know, I'll just keep going. To bring him in the side ahead of Tierney. Come on, Bellingham. Slotting through. Oh my god, it's just slotting through. And we did indeed bring it to extra time. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's time for everyone to dig in. Can we make a substitution? I believe if you, you can get a fourth substitution going, in fact, yeah, it says Bellingham is already on shoot less often, so I don't know why he's shooting. Um, how's my defence looking? Well, Bellingham's already come on. Pepe's starting to look a bit tired out there. Where's Saka? Oh, there he is. We'll see how the we'll see how extra time goes. Thirty more in-game minutes. Can we win it, Bellingham? Into Pepe, into Werner, whose shot is blocked. And thankfully, Torreira is there to pick up the pieces. Bellerin. Good. Don't go back to our second season where we were just gifting the ball away in defence. Oh, the tame shot, man. <laughs> Good grief. Absolutely tame. Pepe is starting to look tired out there now. Uh, Saka is going to come on. Alright, free kick. Kolashnak, Tonali, who's on a yellow card. Tavera. Ooh. It's just so nerve wracking at the moment. Bellingham. Tonali. Tavera cleans up. Bellerin. Tavera, Tonali, just fashion out a chance guys, come on, a good chance. You can feel my heart right now, Saka's just in, can you whip it into the area? Bellerin, whip it in, Bellingham, Bellingham! <laughs> Bellingham has scored in the Champions League final! Okay. Okay. Some of their players are also starting to look a bit tired as well. Okay. Slow the pace down. Go on, boys. Oh, my God. oh right, we're shooting that way, aren't we? <laughs> I was getting worried. Well, I still am. I mean, oh my God, I am. Oh no, 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 no! Whip this in. Nip this in the buds. Nip this in the buds. They're just walking through. Strakosh, I just saved it. You're worth every penny of that eleven million pounds I paid for you. 
whatsoever. Take it to the corner. 40 seconds. Aubameyang, uh, Donovan will just save that. Why is Titan marking not marked? <laughs> Why was it not highlighted? Got that Shinak. Tavera. Or Bam Yang. Take it to the corner. Tavera. Got that Shinak. Oh no, no one's on the end of that. Is that it? Before we blow the whistle. Blow the whistle with. Whistle! Whistle! We've done it. <laughs> A comeback victory in the Champions League final. Oh my gosh. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be honest with you, that's the first time I've ever won the Champions League. What a way to end the series. We've brought European success to the Arsenal. Oh my gosh. We've done it. A magnificent comeback win. Soyunku, Werner, Jude, Bellingham scored the winner. That's your last injury for me as far as I'm concerned. Arsenal lift the Champions League. And everyone gets a medal I believe. Uh, who made the least amount of appearances in this competition? Nathan Ferguson made no appearances, but he gets he gets a medal. <sighs> They're happy. They should be ecstatic. Oh my gosh. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the series. We have indeed secured the Champions League. Yes, we lost the FA Cup final, but We've won the FA Cup already, so don't worry about that. We don't need to worry about that. Fourth, three consecutive fourth place finishes in the Premier League, a Champions League winners' medal. We've also won the FA Cup two seasons before, and we've won the Carabao Cup. The only thing we didn't win was the Premier League. I suppose you could say the Europa League as well. The first season we were in it, but we got to the semi-finals. It was close enough. Just before we go. Some quick player stats for the season. Timo Werner, 34 goals. We're not going to go and do the full season review. We're just going to end it here. 34 goals for Timo Werner this season. Hector Bellerin was our best average rating player, 7.49. Pepe with the most assists on 17. Best car, um, pass completion was Torreira, even though he didn't really play that much this season, well, as much as he used to. Timo Werner with 9 player of the match awards. And Sandra Tanani, 20 out of cards, my goodness. I thought Saliba was bad on 11. And Gwendozi with two red cards all season. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being part of this series. For anyone who watched, or for anyone who does watch in the future, know that this was basically, basically the beginning for me. I'm still trying to figure things out. And hopefully I'll be able to nail down a bit more in terms of presentation, content, and so more, so much more in FM 21. The beta is dropping either today or tomorrow. I'm guessing it's Monday at the moment. It could drop later in the week. Who knows? But until FM 21 comes out, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video and if you wish to be notified of any future FM 21 content coming out, uh, click the like button and click subscribe and make sure that the bell is rung so any notifications will come through for any, any future contents that I bring out. That's a chip off my shoulder for the Champions League. <laughs> it feels so good. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in FM21.